Greetings folks, this video is going to be all about using differential thrust in iNav. Uh, it was prompted by a viewer request from a viewer called Mo Muggy. It's uh, a pretty interesting topic, so thanks Mo Muggy for um, prompting this video. So, differential thrust. Uh, differential thrust is when you have two independent motors and you can use the uh, individual thrust of each motor to help with your of the of the craft or the wing or the plane and the way we do that is to mix a little bit of rudder input uh, rudder stick input uh, into the throttle so that you can increase or decrease each motor individually uh, to assist to assist with your now i don't often use uh, differential thrust in the air i do use it uh, to assist with uh, taxiing on the ground on a, on a big twin especially my um, Hobby King Bush Mule. It was very good for helping uh, steering around on the ground. In the air, I find that uh, an overactive yaw output or yaw authority is is one control that can crash your plane. It's it's one of the um, default setups in iNav that uh, can actually crash your plane if if you've got too much yaw authority. So. I would go very, very carefully, adding even more your authority by using differential thrust. I tend to reduce the rudder throws uh, down to you know minimum almost, just so that uh, the your authority isn't going to sort of override all your other controls and um, put your plane into a spiral into the ground. So with that in mind, um, just remember not to overdo it. Be very, very careful. Use minimum amounts of your authority and you should be, should be good. Now with the recent INAV updates, uh, I'm using 3.1, 3.2 at the moment. May have been available earlier. I'm not too sure. I've never, just never used it. Uh, but in the Mixer page, in the Mixer preset drop-down list, you can actually choose an aeroplane with differential thrust and it sort of quickly sets up the mixing that you need to do. So let's go in and have a look anyway. I'll show you my setup. I have Matek F765 wing board there hooked up to a GPS. It has um, acquired satellite so I can show you on the outputs page what the effect of differential thrust is. Uh, Radio Master R161 receiver. I have a uh, servo hooked up to the rudder channel there uh, and radio here with my INAV setup uh, and we are hooked up and ready to go okay so we're on the mixer page here now so uh, there's the mixer for a flying wing default and you'll see these uh, motor setups here let's do aeroplane doesn't really matter it's, it's it's similar flying wing with differential thrust or airplane with differential thrust let's go for airplane with differential thrust load the mixer and you'll see it has added this positive 0.3 and negative 0.3 to the yaw input to the motor. So we've got one or 100% throttle and plus 0.3 on one and minus 0.3 on the other so that you get um, left and right differential thrust. Uh, and now I would personally possibly drop that down to 0.1 just so that you're sure you're not going to be overdoing it because that is one way as I said to lose control of your plane when you're in INAV. It is the one control that uh, INAV doesn't really uh, use subtly. Uh, it overuses rudder if you're not careful and if you've got too much rudder or your authority no amount of aileron and uh, elevator stabilization will save the plane so just go carefully and use low levels of input for differential thrust is my advice. As I said, I've never actually tried it, so um, I'm just being cautious. All right, so once you've done that, then you can you know, save and reboot. Um, but I've already got it saved in there. So now we can go to the output screen. And if you have enough satellites acquired, and we do, we've got 13 satellites here. It shows where I am in Bendigo. Uh, let's go to the outputs page and there we can see there's my rudder servo working we're in acro at the moment there's manual so we get more output we get the full output in manual mode and if we now arm the motor 
and watch the motor output there. There's increasing the throttle and operating the yaw as well. So rudder stick to the right and the left motor should spool up there, uh, which will give you a turn to the right. And rudder stick to the left and the right motor should spool, spool up. So there you go, that's basically it. Uh, in the mixer you basically just choose aeroplane or flying wing with differential thrust and uh, see what happens. Just uh, play with the directions of input from the yaw. So give it a go, be very careful and uh, let us know how it works. Thanks for watching.